Good evening, everyone. The U.S. and China, the world's two largest economies and biggest superpowers, are often at odds on a variety of issues. But at this week's APEC summit in Beijing, President Obama and China's President Xi Jinping were toasting some breakthrough deals they hailed as historic. They announced deals to extend short-term visas to Chinese and American citizens, to eliminate tariffs on high-tech goods, and just today, an agreement on a climate concern with a plan to limit future carbon emissions in both countries. So, does this signal a new era of cooperation with China? Or is China simply asserting itself on a global stage in order to establish a more dominant role in the region? John Harwood has more. President Obama took a political beating at home last week. But his trip to Asia has made clear he's moving ahead with his priorities anyway. He announced a new agreement with Chinese President Xi Jinping that would accelerate progress by the world's two biggest economies in curbing carbon emissions. We have a special responsibility to lead the global effort against climate change. That's why today I am proud that we can announce a historic agreement. I commend President Xi, his team, and the Chinese government for the commitment they are making to slow, peak, and then reverse the course of China's carbon emissions. That's clearly not the first move that the incoming Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, from the coal state of Kentucky, had in mind. I was particularly distressed by the deal apparently he's reached with the Chinese on his current trip, which, as I read the, uh, the agreement, requires the Chinese to do nothing at all for 16 years uh, while these uh, carbon emission regulations are creating havoc in my state and other states around the country. At the same time, the president did push ahead on one shared priority. He used the trip to promote a trade deal with Asian allies, even as China promised a competing deal. I would welcome the president moving to the middle. I've said before, I hope we can do some business on trade and maybe tax reform. Um, first indications have not been very helpful. So the search for common ground remains alive, but it won't be easy. And Tyler and Susie, the impending immigration executive order the president has promised to make isn't going to help that search either, but there isn't all that much common ground in, to begin with.